Thank you, Mr. President, and fellow Rotarians for including my message in your program. The District Governor will have spent time with you and your board and other club officers for the express purpose of providing up-to-date information and guidance to help strengthen your club. I am more than confident this time has been well spent. Your Governor will also be challenging you to increase your interest and participation in the affairs of this Rotary Club. May I add to his comments? Throughout my travels, visiting a great variety of clubs, large and small, meeting Rotarians from different backgrounds and cultures, I have observed that many Rotarians do not fully appreciate or have had the opportunity to appreciate the overall object of Rotary or the many avenues they can be involved in. Many wear this small emblem, attend luncheons, and that's the extent of their membership. Our organization boasts of over one million members, and that in itself highlights the great programs and projects and points very clearly in the direction of developing initiatives to build a much more secure an understanding world community. But unless we communicate often and effectively within our membership and encourage every member to be an active, useful Rotarian, then the numbers do not count. Rotarians by their backgrounds should be practical, action-oriented people. It's the secret of our success. We are leaders in our business or professional activity. As accountants, marketing or salespeople, bankers, transport experts, or managing directors, lawyers or tradesmen, we can add our weight at every opportunity. If we are new to Rotary, we can add our enthusiasm, inject new approaches. In every worthwhile enterprise, success comes from the contribution of many. Why not with Rotary? Why must we leave our business skills at the door and hope it will all happen. I have the feeling in many clubs, 20% of the membership are responsible for 80% of the action. Surely that can be improved. We have been selected because we are leaders in our vocations. How can we draw out that leadership quality and use it for the benefit of our communities and the world community. Rotary is an action-oriented service organization. Rotary is what Rotary does. Without you, it is nothing. Rotarians make Rotary live by example, by direct involvement. Your personal contribution, Jack and Ian, Les and Glenn and Roberto and Ed, all of you, give life to Rotary. Like any business, an extra 10% or 20% in sales does wonders with the final result. If productivity is up, it reduces overheads, increasing profit that in turn provides the means for expansion and a better, more effective organization. Rotary is no different. Active membership, maximum cooperation, more effective projects, improved image attracting more service-minded members, a more efficient Rotary Club making things happen. Over one million Rotarians can act as catalyst to improve the health of a nation. We have proved it. As a club and a district, we can provide educational opportunities, exchanges, provide skills and material assistance, we can teach and provide the means for self-development. We can overcome misunderstandings and sow the seeds for lasting peace. My theme for 1988-89 is directed towards every Rotarian in this room at this Rotary Club meeting. It is a personal challenge. Put life into Rotary, your life. Through your president, 
make a commitment. Extend your involvement. Bring your skills to the club. Respond to the challenges of your president. Help make things happen. I am reminded of that famous Gettysburg Address, delivered by Abraham Lincoln during America's Civil War. Let me quote. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated this ground far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but can never forget what they did here. These words are as important now as they were 125 years ago. For little matters, if you are a Rotarian, or a district governor, or for that matter, a president of Rotary International, what really matters is what we do. We must act. Too many of us want to be seen in position, but not enough of us are willing or prepared to go out and make it happen. Leadership is doing, demonstrating by example, proving it can be done. That's what really counts. For a commitment to serve comes not only from a desire to improve and enhance the quality of people's lives, but also from that special friendship with other business and professional leaders in our club, where the action really is. Can I count on your participation? Captain Cook played an important role in discovering Australia. Prior to leaving England for uncharted waters, his crew asked, how far can we go? His instant reply, as far as it is possible to go. Rotarians, peace and security, our youth and elderly, lack of understanding, appreciation of others' cultures, lack of basic food and shelter, sanitation and clean fresh water, immunization and a disregard to others' rights and needs, locally and internationally. All these require our attention as an individual and as a Rotary Club. We have a responsibility to use our influence Put life into Rotary. Yes, your life. It will make all the difference. Good luck and enjoy Rotary.